Hello everyone, Pattered here. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make tracks and track they are. And yeah, we're just gonna get straight to it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, come over here at the unity.com slash download. I'll have a link to all the downloads in the description. You're gonna wanna hit download for Windows, select wherever you wanna download it, and then just do the whole process of installing it and verifying it you know whatever it does when you have to end up downloading these i'm not going to do that because i already have it installed and there are other tutorials that do show you how to do that i'm pretty sure but I'm not doing that yeah anyways there's also a download archive you're going to need this specific version 2022.3.13 i'll have it linked in the description you need this version it doesn't work with any other version and then after you do that come over here to track they are mods.com go to tools you're gonna to wanna to download the track mod tool. It'll open up this, you just hit download. And once they all finish downloading, you're gonna to wanna to come back to the download archive. Again, make sure it's 2022.3.13. Hit this Unity Hub button, open Unity Hub. And as you can see, I already have it installed, but it'll automatically install it for you. And now that you have Unity Hub, right? You open it. These are my tracks, the tracks that I've made and been working on. We're going to ignore these though. For you, there's going to be nothing here. Okay, now if you want to import your tracks, you come up here, click add, go wherever you have your track tools downloaded. In my case, it's right here. Track tools underscore 2024. You want to open that. And uh, yeah, this, this is going to take forever to open. So I'm just kind of going to fast forward it a bit. Okay, after a very long process of loading, we are now brought to this screen. So if you come down here, you'll see Track Builder. Double click that. Examples. Scenes. Empty Track. The one with like a square thing right here. Drag and drop up here. It loads for a bit and now you can see we have this. I don't know why it's uh, running rough for me. Probably because I'm recording. Anyways, use right click to look around and then WASD to move. You can hold shift to go faster and then use your scroll wheel to change the speed you move at. And you're probably wondering why the lighting is like this. So uh, what you want to do, come up here to the untitled scene, remove it. Lighting's a bit, a bit fixed. Empty track. You're going to want to hit save scene as. Name it as whatever. You could literally put anything. I'm going to just put PD test track. This doesn't matter. It's just where your file is saved. Okay, so to start building your track, first thing I to do, just click on one of these buildings. Hold control and click on these two buildings. And I personally delete them because you don't need them. Overlay, come up here, hit the check mark. It'll disable it. So you can see the textures change a bit. And if we actually move the overlay, now you can see there's a bit of an outline. This will be important in the future. I will show you guys how to use this in the future. Go to checkpoints, click on one. You see right here, checkpoint line. I disable that. Same thing with the light. So all of this stuff that you don't need, or the poles, you can disable that. And now you can see there's little lights here. Go over here to lights where it's like a little folder and then inside of the folder there's a bunch of little things disable that and now you can see where you actually have something to work with all of this stuff uh i don't know just get it out the way i'm also going to do the same thing with the pool we don't need the pool though so we're going to delete it this stuff i don't even know what it does so yep you guessed right we're just going to disable it because uh maybe we might want to use it i don't know Anyways, now that we have our empty track here, gonna, you're going to want to click on it, or at least a piece of it, it doesn't matter, click on it. Under terrain right here, you have tools and stuff. Most of this is useless, except for this, this second one right here. This has everything you need. So with paint texture, what we can do is come over here, down to layers. And as you can see, we could kind of just paint with it, you know? You could change, you could change the colors and stuff right here if you want a different texture actually like visual texture you could change it right here just drag and drop your image into unity and then search for the image but i'm not gonna do that here's how you change the color yep it's, it's a very very easy process 
Anyways, the normal scale, you can make it look sharper, more realistic, kind of. I'd suggest a spot between 1 and 2.5. Make it looks the most realistic. I personally use 2.5. Sometimes I'll go a little bit over, depending on how good it looks. And then, uh, kind of hard to see, but I can definitely see it on my screen. There's little squares to get rid of that. Just come over here to tiling. You can go where the X is and move it. That changes the size. Same thing with Y. I'm gonna do 3 and 3. And now you can see the texture is more large it appears stretched it's harder to see those squares now but yeah anyways what we're gonna do get soil rough you can use s to change the size of this d to change the rotation this is important if you're using like height maps or something a to change the strength this is also important whenever using different tools but yeah we're just gonna make the whole track blank like this and as you can see, there's random roughness and holes you don't want. Also, press press Control S to save. Make sure you save your track. Just just make sure it's gonna get to you if you don't. Anyways, we come up here to set height. It does what it says. Sets the height. Press Control and click, and it'll set the height of whatever you originally press Control on. For example, if I press, okay, I don't know what I just clicked. Anyways, come back. We press Control on this upper piece, the highest part. And now we hold it makes the height the same thing as that but we don't want that we're just gonna get the lowest part or at least somewhat lowest part not all the way low because maybe you want to dig it down a little so yeah we make it all even now and as you can see we have a flat track what we're gonna do is come to paint texture i'm personally gonna use soil light as a why not anyways change the size anywhere between 12 and 15 is a good size i personally use 13 i think it's really good for in-game scaling and we're gonna make something very basic we're gonna make a square anyways as you can see i messed up press ctrl z to undo it but yeah we don't we don't need that we're gonna make a square again very horrible square but it's whatever's so to get your start point come over here to track systems on the left start point you see that yeah you can just drag and drop it over here hold the little green square to move it so it doesn't like go up and down and it's underneath the track so whenever i spawn in end game i'm gonna spawn under the track don't do that bring it above the track a little bit yep just like that this blue square or this blue arrow is the direction you face whenever you spawn in so what i'm gonna do is rotate it as you can see now that i'm using the rotation tool like i said earlier you just use e to do that it uses the red arrow or the, or the red line instead of the blue one wherever the red line is facing that that's forward whenever you're in the rotation tool but yeah as you can see now if we spawn we're gonna be facing this way so yeah come over here it's your raise and lower tool. I use a strength of 2%. I think it's the best. Just uh, get a height that you think would look good. I'd say about that. That's probably like 10 feet in game. It's just an estimate. I'm, I'm no mathematician. So don't take my word on that. Anyways, now you want to get set height. Grab the highest point or whatever you think looks good. You can press Control Z to get rid of that. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Because if you use set height, it'll just set that to the height of whatever you selected. Yeah, we just trace it along. This is going to be a rough, bit of a rough draft somehow. Just a rough trace. Just go with it. Act like you know what I'm talking about. So you can see, we're going to try making like a little box jump. I think that's what it's called. Now you want to get your raise and lower tool and just add it to the bottom to kind of smoothen it out. And you want to slowly fade it into flat. So closest to it should be the highest. And then it slowly fades into flat like that. Okay, it's not really looking like it. But you get what I mean. It'll look better in a little. I'll show you guys the secret sauce. So we got that right. Not the best looking. And here's how we fix it. Come down to smooth height. Use a strength of whatever. I'm going to use 100 for this bottom layer. Just to get it nice and smooth. You barely want to get the top. Because this top part is what gives you the pop. You just want to mainly get it on like this area right here. So it smooths into it, you know. Now you can see it's looking more like a ramp. Personally, I use a strength of about 20% and then you want to smooth in the top a bit. And now you can see it's a near, near perfect jump. Not really near perfect, but it, it's getting there, you know. Now we have a jump. So now that we've made this jump, I'm going to hit Control S to save. Come over here. 
we're gonna work on landings now. So landings are basically the same process as making a jump. In my opinion, they're slightly easier because, you know, you don't have to get that perfect pop or anything. You just want to make a downhill slope just so you don't ruin any future chance at having children because, uh, you know, because if you case a jump in real life, it's not gonna be good for you. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just, just go with it. I'm assuming you, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, all jokes aside, we just do the same process. Literally just smoothing it out. Change the height a bit just so you get somewhat steeper landing you know it doesn't really matter actually do whatever it as long as it looks like it's gonna work you know that that's the main thing you want to go for now we have a bit of a landing i'm gonna continue to smoothen it out because it's still gonna be a bit rough in my opinion so this jump is probably way too small but with that amount of run up it actually might be good if you take the outside there so yeah we made our first jump and landing and uh smoothen these sides we'll just Go over it ever so slightly that thing is gorgeous ain't it so now for making corners it's a fairly easy process i personally use the raise and lower tool we're gonna start with the outside first use about two percent i think three percent is a little bit too much one percent is a little bit too low two percent is the sweet spot and then you just kind of trace it you know that's a very very rough corner we want to kind of ease into it and yeah that's looking more like a corner you know maybe go over it one more time this is a very steep corner but i'm just giving you guys an example of what to do this is very steep by the way so yeah we got a corner there now and then you can kind of just use the um the paint tool to make it look more more like an actual corner Like I said earlier, that's way too steep. So what we're gonna do is use smooth height, try to mainly get the top and outside of it, and that should flatten it out a bit. Not too much, but it definitely did flatten it out. You can keep doing it more to make it like an actual corner. And like I said, I am literally just doing this for an example. Don't actually do this. This is a horrible corner. It might work in some situations, but not right here. It just doesn't add up. Anyways, for the inside, or, you know, smaller corners, just make it super small. I personally use about size 2 or 1, somewhere right here, you know. And you just do the same thing right here. But not as steep, you know. You do that, you're chilling. And now if you want, use about the same size to make the strength to 1%. Hold control. And you can make it go down, you know. You see that? Now it's kind of like the inside with a little rut somehow. You catch more grip, I don't know. You hold control, it does this. You see how it goes down? That's what I'm trying to trying to say. Well, now you've made your first corner. This is a very basic tutorial on how to make tracks without using height maps. Maybe in the future I'll make a more advanced one. Let's just act like, you know, you made your whole track already and you want to export it. I'd suggest exporting it after every single jump in the corner just so you can actually test the corner. Change the track name to whatever you want. In-game map. So this is this is very easy. I'm going to have to make a tutorial on how to actually make the maps work. But in-game map, you just kind of chase the outline of the actual track itself. That's what the in-game map is. It's just like the little HUD on the bottom left. I'm not the best at explaining, we'll just go with it. I don't know what menu back does. Menu icon, I don't think it's useful as of right now. So menu splash, that's what like the cover of the track looks like. Me personally, I like uh, just taking pictures of like random jumps or random corners or even the whole track. I feel like just do whatever makes a track look interesting, you know. Latitude and longitude, this is what changes like the position of your track to get better lighting and stuff. I leave it default because then if you change the values, it might look a bit weird whenever you change the time of day to afternoon or, uh, you know, like sunrise in game, you know. Map width, whenever you change the width of the track, that's what you want to do right here you want to make it the same width so that way the in-game map adds up offset leave leave this how it is i don't think you'll need to change this i'm not going to explain the erosion data just because i don't know how to mess with that but yeah anyways whenever you're exporting your track you can see right here it has this change the game path to wherever you download your tracks in my case i download all of my mods through steam Steam library, Steam apps, common, find track they are, track they are data, streaming assets, 
and then come over to tracks assets i usually make a folder before working on the track but this time i didn't so just hit new folder oh my gosh i can't find it rename it pd test track or put whatever the name of your actual track is spaces don't actually show up in game so i'd suggest using underlines or maybe dashes or something and yeah we just hit select folder save your track save pd test track now i'll show you guys how to use a uh, height maps so i have my height maps downloaded in a folder okay, so what i do you want to create a little folder somewhere in your unity editor I'm just gonna create a random one because I don't really care about this project too much. It's just a tutorial one. So new folder, I'm gonna just name it HM for height maps. Go into HM, grab all of your height maps, and drag and drop them into there. Now we back out of there. Click on your terrain, terrain edit tool, new brush. You see this right here? Hit new brush and you will see all of your images right here. We will use a corner one um let's see what corner would work right here i think i think maybe this one might be too tight who knows though yeah we're gonna want to come over here to stamp terrain this is the main tool you'd want to use for making height maps actually work change the strength of it to about 20 percent yeah now we have our corner pretty smooth as you can see that's that's much more smooth than whatever i did here but then again, you can probably get more realistic corners using the Unity tools. It's just going to be maybe an annoying process. And yeah, now we're going to make a jump. I'm going to search up jump because that's where I have all of my height maps. So this is a triple. I'm going to change the strength to about 35%. Change the size to match the width of the track. And now we have pretty beautiful triple, you know? I don't know why it's rough actually um here's how we will fix that use the smooth tool and just smoothen it out see very very simple process nothing too hard and now we have some corners and some jumps with a height map okay so now you guys just know everything you need to know about making tracks or at least you know the basic stuff very basic stuff but one thing i didn't show you is the um start points and all of that stuff so i already explained what start point is whenever you spawn in this is where you'll spawn in at for a uh, track day start point is your track day spawn finish line this is where the finish line should be i will put it here you can also change the size with r as you can see we can make it smaller thinner whatever you want shorter yeah i'll do it like right about here start line transponder it is currently disabled but if we enable it it's a uh, i don't know where it's at you double click it and it'll take you towards it yeah it's the same thing as finish line but start line you honestly don't need that unless you're making a um great rhythm or something i'm not sure how to use that i don't use it splits these i'm not sure what these do actually but just put them randomly throughout the track try to make an even amount of space between them doesn't matter where you put them but just put them somewhere staff i honestly don't know what that is usually i kind of just put them in places that would make sense you know start girl dashboard man but i never see them in game so we will just leave that how it is we'll actually lower it or whatever yeah it doesn't matter race start these are your these are the starting gates yeah that's what they are these are starting gates we're gonna select all of them we actually missed one we'll, now we selected all of them we'll just move them right here i don't really think it matters for this tutorial but definitely make sure you set up your starting gates for an actual track i'll just make a quick little example of what to do get your paint texture we use soil light for the base track so we'll do it here i'm making a very basic one by the way do do something like this you know this obviously wouldn't make sense but you you get what i'm trying to do but yeah now after race start we have box i don't know what the hell this does i'm uh <laughs> i'm gonna move that we'll just bring it down yeah invalid area you hit one of these and you're getting either a lap cut or disqualified this big one is disqualified i think 
I I don't know. We're just gonna put it in the middle of here. You can I'm not sure how to mess with that. I don't mess with that, so we'll just leave it how it is. Whole shot, it's exactly what it says it is. It's a whole shot. We'll put whole shot here, for example. It doesn't matter. If you don't know what whole shot is, then um I'd suggest you search it up. I'm not gonna explain it because I don't know how to explain it. But if you know what it is, it makes sense. Just just put it where it would make sense. Time attack start. This is also exactly what it says it is. So, where is, it, where is it at? Uh, Yeah, you see we got start point. This is where you spawn whenever you select the track day game mode. Now, time attack start. This is where you spawn whenever you select time attack. So, we'll put it here, for example. Because, you know, this is the finish line. I think it would make most sense. It's the most convenient. Try putting this somewhere where it makes it easier. Like, let's just say you're going for a fast lap on this track. You'd want to put it in front of the starting point or finish line so that way you know you spawn right here and then you can get a good runoff so you can actually start a good lap you know yeah checkpoint anyway i don't know what this little line is you can see the little yellow line that i'm currently tracing with my cursor i don't know what that does i leave that how it is but I'm going to do a very quick one. You know, we got instance one. This is your first starting point. I'd suggest putting it after the finish line one. Oh no, it's actually called instance zero. This is instance one. And then two. You get what I'm doing. You know, just follow it out all the way until you get to 14. You can also make more if you duplicate it by pressing control D. But what you want to do is change the name to instance 15 and then you just keep counting up like that i don't really know how to mess with the sunrise you know noon afternoon sunset all of that stuff even event i don't know how to mess with that we'll leave that how it is track map i don't know what the hell that does uh, anyways reflection i think you just want to make sure this is the same width as your track probes i don't know what probes do sunlight you could change you know the temp and filter i guess you know whatever i personally like using a more warm temp and you can also change the brightness this doesn't really affect how it looks in game but if you have it all the way black it will be dark in game if you have it all the way up it won't be this bright in game but it'll be more bright you know there will be less of the like shadows i think i'm pretty sure i'm not too sure on how to work with that we'll leave it like that sky and fog volume i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know how to mess with that i leave it default and i don't know what terrain group what that stuff is i don't even think that's part of the track tools but yeah that's a very basic tutorial on how to make a track that should be the whole tutorial if there's anything else i need to make just leave a comment and i will let you guys know how to do it or i'll probably even make a video on it in the future i plan on making a more advanced tutorial and i'll definitely make some extra little ones every here and then just to throw them in thanks for watching if this helped you out please at least leave a like you know leave a comment if you're confused and i will 100 percent help you out with that i am pretty consistent with my comments and i answer fairly fast unless i'm like sleeping or i'm out doing something of course for the most part i'll answer quick yeah i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching hopefully i helped you guys out peace